Hello, I am Miss Avir, an English teacher for primary one at Leaders and Riyad Language School. Today, we are going to have the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Uh, I know all of you love, of, love the stories, so let's recognize the characters of this, of this story. Here is Goldilocks. She is a pretty girl. Go out from her house and go through the jungle until she, she reached this house, the house of three bears. This is mommy bear. This is mommy bear. And this is daddy bear. So what are the characters of this story? Goldilocks, mommy bear, daddy bear, and the baby bear. So we have four characters in this story. Daddy bear, mommy bear, baby bear, and Goldilocks. She knocked on the door, but no one entered. So she entered the, ho the house. She wanted to eat from this bowl but it's very hot and she wanted to choose another one but she found it very cold and she chose the smallest one and ate the food in it and she said yummy it was delicious she likes this she likes the food in this bowl, so she ate it and said, yummy. They entered the house and the baby bear was hungry, so he said, um, I am hungry. And she listened, Goldilocks listened what the baby bear said, baby bear is hungry. But what happened? Goldilocks ate his food. They went to the table and said, look, somebody ate from my food. He was very sad because this is the daddy bear. He found someone ate some of his food. And mommy, mommy bear also said, look, somebody ate from my food too. So somebody ate from daddy bear's food. And somebody ate from mommy bear's food. Who is this one? Do you know? But what happened when the, the, the baby bear looked at his food? He said, look, somebody ate all my food. They saw Goldilocks in their house. And she said sorry to them. Mommy bear and daddy bear and the baby bear are not happy. So Goldilocks was very sorry and said sorry to them because we shouldn't have something don't belong to, to, to us. And this is our story. This was Goldilocks and the three bears. Now we finished our, our story after Goldilocks uh, say, said sorry to this family. They are all happy and Goldilocks went to her house and we finished now our story. And now listen to this video and you will enjoy it. Goldilocks and the Three Bears Once upon a time, there was a cottage in the woods where three bears lived. There was a great big daddy bear, a middle-sized mummy bear, and a teeny weeny baby bear. Daddy bear had a very big bowl to eat from, a very big chair to sit on, and a very big bed to sleep in. Mummy bear had a middle-sized bowl to eat from, a middle-sized chair to sit on, and a middle-sized bed to sleep in. 
and Baby Bear had a teeny weeny bowl to eat from, a teeny weeny chair to sit on, and a teeny weeny bed to sleep in. One day, Mummy Bear cooked them all porridge for breakfast. She served the porridge into their bowls, but they couldn't eat it because it was too hot. So while it cooled down, they decided to go for a walk. Goldilocks was a pretty girl who had long blonde hair. That is why everyone called her Goldilocks. One day she went for a walk. Her mother told her not to go into the forest alone, otherwise she would get lost. But Goldilocks never listened to her mother. After walking for a while, Goldilocks suddenly found that she was indeed lost. Tired and hungry, she walked some more until finally she came across the three bears' cottage. She knocked on the door, but when no one answered, she decided to have a look inside. When she got inside the cottage, she found three bowls of porridge. Goldilocks tried the porridge in the biggest bowl. Ouch! She said, "This porridge is too hot." So she tried the porridge in the medium-sized bowl. "Eh," she said, "This porridge is too cold." So she tried the porridge in the teeny-weeny bowl. "Mmm," she said, "This porridge is just right." So she ate it all up. After eating the porridge, Goldilocks wanted to sit down. She looked around and found three chairs. First, she tried the biggest chair. Oh dear, she said, "This chair is much too big." Then she tried the medium-sized chair. Oh no, she said, "This chair is still too big." Finally, she tried the teeny weeny chair. This chair is just right," she said. So she sat on it, but then the chair broke into pieces. Goldilocks became sleepy and decided to look upstairs. She found a room with three beds. She tried the biggest bed. Ouch," she said. "This bed is too hard." So she tried the medium-sized bed. Oh no, this bed is too soft. So she tried the teeny-weeny bed. Hmm, this bed is just right, and it was so comfortable that she lay down on it and fell asleep. Meanwhile, the three bears came home from their walk, ready to eat their food. "Who's been eating my porridge?" said Daddy Bear. "Who's been eating my porridge?" said Mummy Bear. "Who's been eating my porridge?" said Little Baby Bear. "And look, they've eaten it all up." Then the three bears saw their chairs. "Who's been sitting in my chair?" Said Daddy Bear, "Who's been sitting in my chair?" Said Mummy Bear, "Who's been sitting in my chair?" Said Little Baby Bear, "And they've broken it." The three bears went to look upstairs. "Who's been sleeping in my bed?" Said Daddy Bear. "Who's been sleeping in my bed?" Said Mummy Bear. Who's been sleeping in my bed? Said Little Baby Bear, and they're still here. Just then, Goldilocks woke up. She saw the three bears and screamed. She jumped out of bed, ran down the stairs, and out of the house as fast as she could.
she ran and ran until finally she saw her house and her mother and promised her that she would never go into the forest by herself again. And that was the last the three bears ever saw of Goldilocks. The End